city of San Diego is implementing an eviction moratorium due to the coronavirus. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. And I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. Just moments ago, the mayor said evictions and foreclosures connected to the coronavirus will not be allowed. Let's quickly get you up to date on today's developments. There are now... Cases of coronavirus in all 50 states after West Virginia reported its first confirmed case today. The White House is expressing support for immediate cash payments to Americans to help boost the economy. There are now 55 cases of coronavirus in San Diego County. That includes two clusters. One is a group of four who contracted COVID-19 in the community. Another group of seven who recently traveled to Colorado. The federal government could soon be sending checks to the American people. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin is negotiating another economic stimulus package while the Senate takes up the one passed by the House. It's all about combating the economic effects of the coronavirus. Natalie Brand reports from Washington. The Senate has vowed to stay in Washington until it passes legislation to address the coronavirus crisis. Uh, Senate Republicans, in conjunction with the administration, are going to write a next bill. We will then discuss with the Democrats what we can agree to pass. The plan Leader McConnell laid out will slow things down. Above all, this should be bipartisan. Some lawmakers are proposing adult Americans receive checks for at least $1,000. The president is determined we will put money back into this economy to protect hardworking Americans and small businesses. CBS News has confirmed the administration is considering an at least $850 billion stimulus proposal that could include a payroll tax cut, small business loans, and a bailout for the airline industry. With this invisible enemy, we don't want airlines going out of business. President Trump has held meetings today with restaurant and tourism executives, two of the industry's hardest hit by this ongoing crisis. One of the world's largest hotel chains, Marriott, is furloughing tens of thousands of workers and closing hotels worldwide. Restaurants and bars continue to close across the nation, switching to carry out and drive through service only. And some retailers are implementing seniors only shopping hours to protect those most at risk. Enjoy your home. Stay. New York City is considering a shelter in place order similar to the one in effect in the San Francisco Bay Area. Other states have either implemented or are considering curfews. Meanwhile, NBA star Kevin Durant is the latest celebrity to test positive for COVID-19. Natalie Brent, CBS News, the White House. And stocks surged today over those talks of a stimulus package. The Dow bounced back from its worst day in more than three decades. It closed up more than a thousand points. The NASDAQ and S&P 500 were each up more than 6%. Today, city and county leaders and health officials gave updates on the impact of the virus here in San Diego and the measures they are taking to contain its spread. The county says it is working with hospitals and private labs to increase testing availability. Hospitals could start independent testing as soon as tomorrow. Officials are asking people not to go to the hospital. Don't go if you have mild symptoms and think you need to be tested. If everyone goes to the doctor, we are going to overwhelm our health care system. So we are urging people very much like with influenza. If you have mild to moderate symptoms, stay home and write that out. Right now, there are 55 cases of coronavirus in San Diego. Officials say they are investigating a couple of local clusters among those 55 cases. They do expect to see an increase in cases in the days ahead. Moves to prevent the spread of coronavirus are devastating to the financial health of many families across our county. While the federal government is working on a plan to get Americans money, many families are taking a look at ways to slow their spending. News A's Steve Price is live in Kearney Mesa tonight with the details. Steve? Yeah, Barbara Lee, I'm along Convoy Street, which is usually packed at this hour, either with folks who are heading home or people heading to one of the many great restaurants in this area. But take a look behind me. I mean, literally, there's not a single car coming this direction right now. That's because people aren't working. People aren't spending money, and that's causing a lot of concern. Thank you. San Diego businesses grateful for the few customers they do have. Try to support the economy, the local economy as best I can. Courtney Moore's picked up an order to go for lunch. His job is safe from coronavirus concerns, but knows others are struggling from hours slashed and layoffs. I'm humble. I'm going to do what I have to do. And Kim Ray says she's already started thinking about ways to cut the family budget. 
cable TV, things like that. We watch, you know, different things on our phone. A fear of businesses failing, eliminating jobs is sweeping the country. Americans with no money to pay their bills. So today, a big announcement from the Trump administration. We're looking at sending checks to Americans immediately. And what we've heard from hardworking Americans, many companies have now shut down, whether it's bars or restaurants, Americans need cash now. The exact amount is still being worked out, but the president mentioned $1,000 with a goal to have it in our hands in about two weeks. Money that will certainly help people struggling now to buy food. It's scary times. But David Reyes doubts that money will suddenly save our nation's economy. Here's the problem with giving money right now when there's no demand. It doesn't push the needle. People are going to hoard money. Reyes is a registered investment advisor with more than 20 years of experience. His advice to those that are still receiving a paycheck, don't stop contributing to your 401k. Absolutely. You are dollar cost averaging in. So it's a great time for contributions. That said, the unknown is scary. No one can say just how long this will all last. But what we do know is that the downturn happened quickly and caught many of us off guard. We don't want people losing their jobs or not having money to live when they were doing very well just four weeks ago. Yeah, it's hard to believe that just four weeks ago, none of us really saw this coming. And for folks who were living paycheck to paycheck, there just was no time to prepare for this. One other tip to pass along, Carlo and Barbara Lee, if you are having a problem paying off your credit cards, paying your mortgage, uh, any of your utilities, go ahead and try to contact those companies now. They understand what's going on and they should try to work with you, at least delay penalties so that you won't have to pay more down the road. But you definitely want to be proactive when it comes to that. We'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, a lot of good advice there, Steve. Thanks. Meantime, the Marine Corps is working to contain the spread of the coronavirus on MCAS Miramar after two local Marines tested positive. News 8's Brandon Lewis is live at the base with the latest on how military officials are responding to this coronavirus crisis. Brandon. And Carlo, Marines say they are practicing social distancing. They've closed the non-essential businesses that operate on the base, and they are also making preparations for a potential worst case scenario. That means setting aside barracks for isolation or quarantine. We're doing everything we can to uh, prevent the spread to limit its impact here on the base, limit its impact on the community, and make sure that we're ready for those missions that are going to be coming at us in the future. Marines across San Diego are taking special precautions to deal with the outbreak of coronavirus. At Miramar, that means setting aside a barrack for anyone in isolation or quarantine. These folks have food brought to them, their laundry is taken care of. We plan for basically all of their living essentials along the way. So we're taking those kinds of steps here on the base to make sure that anybody that contracts it gets isolated appropriately. Marines at Camp Pendleton put together tents to handle any surge in cases and also set aside barracks for those who need to recover. The virus is changing the way of life on base. Just like on the outside, the Marines closed clubs and non-essential businesses. Restaurants are takeout only and some places have limited hours. It's also changing how they interact to avoid large gatherings. Things like formations, um, large group settings, meetings, those kinds of things may be curtailed in the future. But right now, um, the commanding officer has set kind of a, a soft cap at 75 people right now. The most serious cases will go to military hospitals, which also spent the week putting together tents and preparing for an onslaught of cases. Miramar Marines and local medical staff are in a unique situation since they have housed thousands of people in quarantine from Wuhan and the Grand Princess cruise ship. We're just trying to replicate some of the things that the CDC did that were very successful with the Chinese, with the uh, with the Wuhan quarantine and with the Grand Princess quarantine and putting them onto the smaller scale with what we're doing. So again, a case of preparing for the worst and of course hoping for the very best. Now coming up for you new at 630, we'll tell you about how the Marines are working to drive this point home to Marines that are used to completing a mission no matter what and urging them to stay home if they are sick. Carlo and Barbara Lee. All right, Brandon, thank you. Possibly the craziest place to go during the coronavirus pandemic 
is the supermarket, but one grocery store took notice and is now making accommodations for those who are most vulnerable. All of the Northgate Gonzalez Market's 41 locations will now be open at 7 in the morning instead of 8. The goal is to let elderly people and those with disabilities shop during that time in privacy to avoid the crowds. I'm grateful. That's why I was here early. I thought it was a wonderful idea because we are having a difficult time. Our age group getting things, getting them back home. So I thought it was wonderful. There are eight Northgate locations in San Diego County. Find the full list of locations at NorthgateMarket.com. Despite the numerous pandemic related closures throughout the county, several businesses and organizations are staying open. Two in particular have generated a lot of complaints from our viewers, casinos and the DMV. Shannon Andy joins us live from outside the DMV in Claremont with more on how they're able to stay open and why. Shannon? Yeah, Barbara Lee and Carlo, the DMV just shut its doors for the night, but uh, I can't say it's been business as usual when they are open during the day because people are being forced to line up outside and steps are being taken inside to enforce social distancing. But either way, there are a lot of people saying that places like the DMV and casinos should be taking this pandemic more seriously, even though they're not being asked to close. Outside the Claremont DMV Tuesday, people distanced themselves in line. Some wore masks. Workers only allowed a limited number of people inside where chairs had been moved further apart. It was the best experience I've had in 26 years. James Newcomb came to get a new license. He says not only was it efficient, but he and others tell us the added precautions made them feel safe. Yes, everything is clear. Not too many people. Not everyone agrees. News Day has received several emails questioning why the DMV is still open. One viewer wrote, why was the DMV open today? No social distancing in that long line. Another asked, why is the DMV a safe environment from the coronavirus? The governor has shut down groups of over 50 people throughout the state, but keeps the DMV open with crowds in excess of 300. We reached out to both the governor's office as well as the DMV. In a statement, the DMV tells us in part, all DMV offices remain open at this time to process those transactions that must be taken care of in an office, including real ID. It goes on to say law enforcement has been asked to use discretion for the next 60 days in regards to expired licenses and vehicle registration. In other words, people shouldn't be forced to come in right away in an effort to curb crowds. Another industry being criticized, casinos. This video was taken outside Viejas today. There are 10 throughout the county. As of Tuesday afternoon, only three were closed, Harris, Pachanga, and Palma. The others have remained open with extra safety precautions like restaurant closures and sanitizing stations in place. In an email, one viewer wrote, washing the chip extra time just isn't good enough. It gets down to greed. Another said, the issue with having these properties open to the public will attract anyone who is just looking for an open place because every other business will be closed. Because casinos are on sovereign tribal land, the county can't order them to close, though they are required to adhere to the 50 person per room limit. And the State Department of Health does have guidelines in place for casinos that remain open. Now, as I mentioned in that story, I did reach out to the governor's office, but at this point, I have not heard back. Back to you. Thanks, Shannon.